Next up, tensions between the Philippines and China have prompted a response from the U.S. State Department which declared it would defend its ally per a 1951 treaty if conflict broke out. At issue are shoals in the South China Sea. China has made sweeping claims to the sea, but the Philippines maintains a presence in some areas. Dispute over the shoals resulted in dust-ups between the two nations, including a minor collision between Coast Guard ships from the two countries. Footage shows a Chinese Coast Guard ship menacing a Philippine vessel. Separately, the Chinese government released footage of a Philippine ship crossing the bow of one of its ships. The altercations prompted a strong reaction from Philippine officials. But we are here to really decry, in the strongest possible terms, this egregious violation and illegal act within the 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone and the obfuscation of the truth by China's distorting the story to fit its own ends, and the duplicity of China in claiming to be peaceful and claiming to be friendly while resorting to these aggressive acts. The tension also prompted the State Department to issue a statement asserting China had violated international law and spurred Secretary of State Antony Blinken to declare the U.S. would honor its defense pact with the Philippines, saying, quote, an armed attack on Philippine armed forces, public vessels, and aircraft will invoke U.S. mutual defense commitments under the treaty. Just this past week, the PRC vessels acted dangerously and unlawfully as our Philippine friends conducted a routine resupply mission within their own, their own exclusive economic zone in the South China Sea. I want to be clear. I want to be very clear. The United States defense commitment to the Philippines is ironclad. The United States defense agreement with the Philippines is ironclad. 